What up, guys? Day 46. Man, it's been a wild ride, guys. It's been a wild, wild 46 days. But, I mean, especially uh, the past week. I mean, God, I think about, you know, a week ago, last Monday, dude, I was on my deathbed. I remember last Monday night, Man, I didn't sleep at all. Just a just a head splitting migraine. And for any of you out there that get migraines, oh my God, I have so much compassion and empathy and understanding for you. Cause that was my first one. And uh I wanted to die. I mean, uh, you know, last Sunday I was in the emergency room. <laughs> thinking I was gonna die. And literally begging for my life. My ego was like, oh my God, I don't wanna die. And today I'm feeling amazing. Day 46, 46 days of semen retention. Life force energy generation. And I'm feeling great. Things are really moving. Things are really manifesting. 10x, 1000x, and I want to help you get there too. So what I want to talk to you about in this video, you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I talk about the three M's, okay, money, or excuse me, muscle, money, and mission. These are the three areas that you need to be focused on as a man to cultivate your masculine energy. Okay, you need to be focused on your body, moving your body at a high rate at least three times a week. So that you're, you're releasing endorphins, you're letting go of stress, you're building muscle, burning fat. Okay, also, you, you know, focus on changing your diet. These things alone are going to add to the cultivation and the development of your masculine energy, of your life force energy, especially if you're practicing no fat. You want to fill that gas tank up because you've depleted it over the years with that poisonous habit of masturbation, pornography, meaningless sex. You've, you've drained your gas tank, man. You're running on empty. That's why you feel purposeless. That's why you feel lethargic. Because your gas tank's empty. Okay, the second area is the money. Money is a survival tool in the modern, in the 21st century. Okay, money is equal to a bow and arrow of the hunter-gatherer days. You want to take care of your family, you want to create a, a nice lifestyle for yourself, you're going to have to get your money right. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If you don't get that part of your life solved, every other area of your life is going to suffer. You're not going to be able to take care of your health at the highest level if you're broke. You can't expect for your woman to be attracted to you at the highest level. If you're broke, if you can't provide her with a nice lifestyle, every area of your life is affected by money. We live on an economic planet. You are deluding yourself if you are not obsessed with getting your money right, with getting rich. And the last is your mission. And you really can't get to high levels of purpose in your life if you don't have the other areas taken care of, especially the money. Because money is such an energetic drain on so many people. Most people, the average American, and probably the average person in most westernized countries, go to bed worried about money and wake up every day worried about money. How am I gonna pay my bills? How am I gonna provide for my family? So you're not thinking about how can I change the world? How can I help other people? 
when you're worried about your money. So right now, your mission should be, how do I change my body? How do I take back control of my physical body? And how do I get my money right? So in this video, I'm going to share with you the number one tool or strategy that I learned that, that changed my financial life forever. I learned this back when I was uh, 25 years old. Okay, I, I'm a high school dropout. I dropped out of high school when I was 17 years old. Never got a GED, never got a diploma. I didn't even, I net, I, I didn't even go, back, go to my first day of my junior year. I was done. But to me, making money's always been easy. I, got, I had a full-time job as a mechanic when I was 19 years old. My dad and I opened up our own uh, semi-truck re repair company. So when I was 19, 20, 21 years old, I was making a great income. I was making about a six-figure income uh, you know, at the age of 21. So to me, making money's always been easy. But keeping money, saving my money, and investing my money, that's another story. Because even though I was good at making money, I was better at spending money. And I was even better at getting into debt. I, I was terrible. I was asking for advances on my pay, so I'd go out and buy motorcycles. I remember when I was uh, about 20 years old, I got a Discover card, a credit card. The $5,000 credit limit, I maxed that thing out within an hour of getting it. I turned my garage into a paint booth. I used, to, I used to build custom cars and I paint cars and I turned my garage into a paint booth. So I was terrible with money. And then, you know, I'm 25 years old. My life starts to transform. I literally read this book. This is the first book I ever read in my entire life. First grown up book, I should say, nonfiction. When I read that book, I set a goal to become a millionaire. And then I started, that was my mission. My mission was to become a millionaire. And then as I started walking the path, I started having to learn, I started having to learn the disciplines that were required in order to become a millionaire. And one of the, one of the uh, fundamental disciplines that you must learn you must master in order to become financially successful is saving and investing your money. And I was listening to an audio program by one of my favorite teachers, Brian Tracy. And in that program, he talked about saving your change and then taking that change, cashing it in and then taking that cash and then investing it. And I took it to the next level. I started saving my $1 bills. So every single time I would go out and I would spend cash and I would get the change, I would take the $1 bills and I'd put them in my pocket. And then when I would get home at night, I would take those $1 bills and I'd put them in a mason jar. And then every month, on the first of the month, I would take those dollar bills and then I would go invest it. And at the time I was investing in gold, actual gold coins and silver coins. Um, and then I took it to the next level. Then I started saving my ones and my fives. And then shit just started getting real. I mean, it, it blows your mind how, mu how many ones and fives you can save in a month. Especially if you stop using debit cards. Stop using your debit card at the, at the convenience store to buy your Red Bull, to buy your cigarettes, to buy your gum, to buy your junk. Okay, stop doing it. If you go out to dinner, it's okay to use a credit card. But what I would suggest is that if you don't have any money right now, you're not, fi you're not responsible enough to use a credit card or a debit card. So what I would suggest you do is start giving yourself a cash allowance for your daily spending. Okay, and then what you're going to do is day to day when you go out there and you spend, 
When you get that change, you're going to start saving your $1 bills. So this is one month's worth. Okay, it's the beginning of the month. And I'm about to take these dollars and I'm about to go invest them. I'm telling you, it's the, it, you must have the discipline, the small disciplines over time create a radical transformation in your life. So most people aren't good at saving their money and they're not good at investing their money. So if you can start with this very simple strategy to save your money, it's going to create a chain reaction in your life. It's going to create a radical transformation in you. You are going to become a saver. Okay, and this video is not meant to teach you where to invest your money, although I would highly suggest, for me at least, I'm a big cryptocurrency investor. If you've seen, I, I make a lot of videos on my YouTube channel about investing in cryptocurrency, investing in gold and silver. I'm still a big, big advocate of gold and silver. But you can take that, that those ones, and you can invest them in your 401k or your mutual fund. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you do, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, but you can do whatever you want. Okay. The key is to build the discipline. I've been, I've now been saving my ones and fives every month for 13 years. Okay. I bet there's over, I bet there's over a hundred dollars in that jar right there. You take a hundred dollars a month at a 10% rate of return, okay, by the age of, you start at 19 years old, by the time you hit, you know, 60 years old, you're going to have over a million dollars at a 10% yearly return, average. You're going to kill it. The problem is most people start too late. They don't become responsible and disciplined when it comes to their money. So you got to get disciplined in your your body. You got to take control. You got to become disciplined in your body, in your money. And your mission right now, your mission should be three things. Number 1, your number 1 mission, stop masturbating. Stop indulging in your addictions. Okay, number two, start going to the gym at least three days a week and start saving your ones. Take those ones every month, invest them in an investment account, and next thing you know, more opportunities will start coming into your life. You'll have the cash and the capital saved up to invest in those bigger opportunities because if you don't learn the fundamentals of money, the same as if you don't learn the fundamentals of your body, if you don't learn the fundamentals of being a man, you're never going to get the results that high level men get. High level men take have, have great results in their body, great results in their money, great results in their relationship, great results. Great results are simply just the effect of great habits. So I'd like to start making more videos where I'm just sharing things that I do, disciplines in my life that have helped me create an amazing life, an amazing life full of abundance, success in every area of my life. I want to help you do the same thing. So that's all I got for today. Start saving those ones and fives. I'll see you on the next video.